Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and in this video we are going to be going through the upcoming cartel market items uh, for the new Singularity Cartel Pack which I do think is going to be released this Tuesday and that's only in a few days so what that means is the items are going to be up there in collections you can go ahead and preview these items for yourselves and so I'm going to keep this video very short and sweet uh, also we've talked a lot about these items beforehand because um, they were data mined you know all in different bundles and patches but now we kind of have a full list a full compilation of exactly what items Items are coming out of here we also have some new images and stuff that I'm really excited to show so all in all it's gonna be an exciting video I'm just gonna to try to keep it very short not gonna to go too in-depth about my opinions or anything but for the most part Bioware has actually done a pretty good job with this cartel pack uh, not those many reskins that I can see and also so the items are unique you know they're not gonna to appeal to everyone definitely a lot of these items don't appeal to me but they are unique they are different I can see them still being nice items in general and for those people who are gonna pay real money and gamble with this stuff um, it's gonna be pretty nice because if you do end up winning something good you're gonna be happy and then on the other hand there's gonna be some great deals to pick up off the GTN as well so let's get right into it um, so first of all we have the bionic warriors armor set now here we have a different look beforehand we saw it with a red color scheme it seems as though they've settled on a black and yellow color scheme I'm still not a fan of it I don't like the colors but that's nothing that a die can't fix really uh, what's interesting about this image is all the sparkles coming off of it so it does seem as though this is going to have a visual effect and the visual effect seems something like um, the the light's gonna shine out and I don't know I guess they're gonna be like a bunch of sparkles coming out looks very like Christmassy uh, not very Star Wars like I uh, nor does it look really menacing so I'm kind of having mixed feelings on whether that's actually a nice look but you can't say it's not unique I haven't seen really an armor set that looks like that beforehand and the helmet is still very nice uh, with the right dye that helmet can be very nice for uh, you know a lot of different Sith armor sets so that's gonna be good um, the second armor set we have here is the Proficient Hitman. Now this one is still kind of like, uh, I'm not a big fan of it. The helmet obviously looks very different and unique. The upper body armor, not so much, but uh, overall I'm just not a fan of the armor set itself. But I can see a few people really liking this one. And I do think it's going to be gold in any case. So I'm um, still pretty nice, but... Um, Nothing too special really. And then the Agile Sentinels armor set, here we have another look at it. Still not something that I really like. The upper body armor does look a lot nicer in this photo actually, but I'm not digging the hood, I'm not digging the helmet which is just basically a little circlet on his forehead. Uh, so overall, yeah, it's, it's a kind of a decent silver armor set and that's most likely what it's going to be silver. Uh, what is interesting and to note in this photo is we see this um, kind of visual thing going on in the back and I do think that's actually a visual effect associated with the armor set. I think it's going to be very similar to the Keeper of Iocath's armor set that we have in game right now where when you activate your weapon, a nice little HUD shows up on the back. Um, so I think that actually that's going to make the armor set in itself actually quite nice just because of the visual effect. It's going to make it different and stick out and maybe appeal to some people but just in general how it looks it kind of looks meh but with the visual effect it can be it can definitely be something that people use so um, all in all decent armor sets I'm not gonna say they're anything too amazing but they're definitely decent they're not terrible I mean we have seen some really terrible stuff come out beforehand so this is still kind of okay uh, looking over to um, the weapons now of course we have the Nahut's heavy sniper rifle the Nahut's heavy cannon or not or however you pronounce that name people have been correcting me time and time again in the comments I'm sorry uh, until I hear someone else say it I'm not really gonna get the pronunciation right but anyways these are going to be the new platinum items with their nice little blue HUD and I've spoken about this beforehand I'm not a big fan of like sniper rifles and heavy cannons I think we have so many nice ones in the game and also it appeals to such a small player base like there's only few people that actually play snipers and Care about having a really nice blaster obviously lightsabers blaster pistols and blaster rifles are a lot more in demand and so um, them making these two platinum items it's gonna be very interesting I don't think they're gonna sell very high on the GTN just cuz there's gonna be lower demand for it but anyways we'll have to see what happens but either way those are gonna be the platinum items it doesn't really matter because most people don't get the platinum items anyway What's more important are the silver rarity weapons, and actually they're quite nice. Look here at the Resolute Gorilla's lightsaber. Uh, Bioware is doing pretty well with lightsaber hilts recently. The last few they released have actually been rather nice, and this one is definitely a really great addition. I really like the style. The only thing that could ruin this is if they make the hilt too small. And the reason I don't like small hilts is because um, basically the player's hand covers it. So there's no point in having a nice hilt if no one can really see it. So I hope it's a little bit big. But that's not an issue with the Resolute Gorilla's dual saber where the hilt looks absolutely massive. I'm not sure if this is just what it looks like in the image or if it's actually going to show up like that in game, but that hilt looks absolutely huge. 
Um, so very nice and unique. I'm actually a big fan of it. I think it's going to be cool. We have the Resolute Gorillas Assault Cannon here now. Uh, this one just looks like one of those generic assault cannons they've released recently, but obviously uh, what's nice is the red dot sight sticking out, or the red laser sticking out. And then we also have the Resolute Gorillas Blaster going off the same design with that nice red laser. And I'm also kind of digging the design of the, of the blaster itself. It looks pretty cool. And for a silver level blaster, that's actually rather nice. I mean, it's not a reskin. It, it's got some special aspects to it. So overall, not bad. And then here we have the Resolute Gorillas Blaster Rifle, which is just the pistol with a stock on it. And then, yeah, it actually looks rather nice. I mean, honestly, it's going to make for a very nice, compact, small blaster rifle. Because a lot of blaster rifles we have now are pretty big and lanky. Um, and so this one's going to make for a really nice small compact one. So once again, it's not a design that's going to appeal to, en to everyone, but um, I think it is still unique and different. And I'm definitely thinking about using that one. I quite like it. And then here we have the sniper rifle, which once again is just the blaster rifle, but with an extra long barrel and a scope. Uh, so it seems as though they've kind of taken this one generic design, just added a few attachments here and there to make it different. But the reason I'm not complaining is because I quite like the generic design. Um, so all in all, decent weapons guys, decent weapons coming out of this pack. And keep in mind, if you do decide to open a cartel pack, or if you do want the good deals on the GTN, uh, most of the affordable stuff is going to be silver rarity. And so it's nice to see some really nice silver rarity items coming out of here. Then of course with the mounts, we have the Hollow Rancor, which I've already talked about in length. It's an amazingly nice mount. Unfortunately, at this point, we don't know if it's gold or platinum, but I do think now, like I'm 99% sure, it is going to be gold rarity, okay? So it's going to be rather affordable and, uh, and accessible to everyone. Even though it's going to sell for like 5, 10 million credits or whatever, that's not bad. It's better than platinum where it would probably sell for like 50 million credits plus. Another uh, mount here we have is the Strategic Assault Speeder. Now this one is a reskin of what we already have in the game. It is going to have a flourish where it shoots out lasers from the top, but it's not bad. I mean, it's a nice looking mount in general. Uh, the reskin comes out of like the Outer Rim Explorer pack, which is very old. So that means we don't have very many of these in game. This is most likely going to be a very affordable silver mount on the GTN for like 200, 300k. So for anyone that's been looking for a nice tank mount, uh, this one's going to be a really affordable option for you guys. The next one we have here is the Corrupted Bracktail. Now this one's not surprising because we've seen basically Bioware take all these old uh, beast models and then call them corrupted, add a few corrupted aspects to it, like make its eyes red, make it look all kind of Sith-like uh, and stuff like that, and then just call it the corrupted version of it. Now this one is the Corrupted Bracktail, but interestingly enough, the mount looks nothing like a Bracktail. It looks a lot more like a Sleen. So I'm not sure if that's a mistake, if they meant to call it a Corrupted Sleen, or if that's actually just supposed to be a Bracktail. I can definitely see a Varactyl in it, but it just looks more like a Sleen. But anyways, either way, that's probably going to be um, silver as well, which is not bad. I mean, for a silver mount, that's decent. And then for the Embarvin Spider Tank, this one is most likely going to be the second gold mount. As I spoke about this in previous videos, it is going to like go off the Acclay design. It's going to move like an Acclay and all that stuff. In any case, that's going to be a pretty decent mount as well. So guys, so far we've had, you know, okay armor sets, very nice weapons, and now very nice mounts. Uh, so that's why I meant to say you know, this is a pretty decent cartel pack. The droid companion is the P3KP. Uh, nothing too special to say about this one. I mean, it's just kind of like one of, it's just another droid that looks unique. It's different, but um, I'm not a big fan of it, but whatever. The next one here is the Sign of Agony. This one is a flare. And I mentioned beforehand, I really enjoy the design of this flare. I'm definitely going to use it. It looks very nice. It's obviously supposed to be uh, um, going off the theme of the boss, but all in all, it's going to be decent, so that's nice. And then we have the Glaring Abyss Color Crystal, also a pretty decent looking color crystal. Uh, definitely very similar to some stuff we already have in the game, but uh, once again, considering how crappy color crystals have been in the past few cartel packs, this one's a nice little refresher from that. It's actually something I can see a few people using. So even the color crystal is pretty decent. And then we have the two emotes that I talked about uh, in previous videos. We have the Beat Chest emote and then the Bicep Kiss. We have the Phantasmal Mouse Horanth pet, which is just another pet that glows blue. We have the Wetlands Jergoran Jer pet, uh, which is nothing too special. And then we have these two dyes here. And then I'll end the uh, video with a picture of all of these decorations, which will also be coming out of the cartel pack. The decorations also look rather nice. So 
all in all guys a really decent a really solid cartel pack where they haven't put in a lot of reskins it looks as though they've put in a, qu a quite a lot of effort uh, with the silver items as well which is always really nice to see and then we have some a few really amazing items coming out if you're like the um the hollow ranker which i know is going to be very popular among people and also um maybe i don't know depending on um whether the armor sets turn out to look better than they do in the pictures in game maybe some of those will be popular as well so guys i'm excited for that one definitely gonna do a pack opening whenever it releases uh, we'll see if anything's changed about the rng probably not but it's all you know one can always hope and then i also want to end this video off talking about some direct purchase items that will be available and here is some really exciting stuff for those of you guys who have uh, been playing this game for a while because the shadow disciples armor set i spoke about this in the previous video some people didn't believe me but guys here it is it's going to be available this is that old data mined armor set that is that is a reskin it's basically uh they reskinned a ton of different um armor pieces put them all together but to be honest a lot of this stuff isn't available like that belt you see there uh that's that's like old pve or pvp gear that's not available anymore that helmet is definitely not available so a lot of this stuff is actually going to be pretty desirable but since it's going to be an individual direct purchase on the cartel market it's going to cost around 1200 to 1400 cartel coins so it's going to be pricey but keep in mind uh, it might be worth it it also might uh, you know go to an affordable price on the gtn once again you can always hope i'm not sure but either way guys it's going to be there for you to get if you've always wanted it and i definitely am looking forward to getting that helmet because i really like that design the belt is also really nice uh, what's also interesting is we're going to have the special forces armor set uh, so this one is the Battlefront 2 item. So basically, obviously Battlefront 2 is going to release in a month and um, Bioware wants to jump on that bandwagon and release some stuff. So people who are playing Battlefront coming over to Swotar, people who are just excited about that game in general might want to buy this uh, armor set. Uh, so this is how it looks. It, I don't think it looks particularly nice. I was definitely hoping for something a lot more... Um, I don't know, I guess like Clone Trooper-ish, like something that pays homage to the prequels uh, or the trilogy. But this just kind of looks really generic and reskinny. That helmet is definitely 100% a reskin of uh, that generic helmet that everybody got for being a subscriber like a, a few years ago. So, um, and then the upper body armor is just kind of like generic looking as well. So nothing too special with that one. The Shadow Disciples armor set is obviously a lot more exciting than that. But other than that, guys, I promise I would keep this video short. And believe it or not, nowadays, 12 to 13 minute videos are pretty short for me. But in any case, hope you guys enjoyed the video and are excited for this cartel pack. I definitely am. And I'll see you guys this Tuesday for the pack opening.